First, I'd like to just address having seven new players. Um, I, I think that's the most consistent question I've gotten this fall. We went up to Sioux Falls for our media day for our league, and that was immediately the first question. You know, how does Ronnie Harrell Jr. and Tory Tory Miller, who are postgraduate transfers, fit into what we're trying to do? Well, they are amazing in our locker room. They're amazing out on the floor. They're amazing at growing our culture to where we think we should be at. And each and every day is a, a learning opportunity for me, but also for our young guys. And Tori and Ronnie bring that leadership and that, that ownership to our program. Talk about five freshmen. Um, they've changed the way we, we approach practice as a staff. They've changed the way we approach lifting weights with their energy, their effort, their seriousness about our sport and our game and, and what we're trying to do here. And they make our team extremely competitive and, and better every single day. And, and I'm happy to be able to, to say that I'm their coach. And, and I didn't know that I was getting that from uh, these five guys when we brought them in. Even, even in recruiting them, I didn't know that, that we were getting this competitive spirit. But when they got here in June, it's been a pleasure to walk into practice. Can't say that it's been a pleasure to walk out of practice, but it's been a, it's, it's been a pleasure to, to walk into practice. Um, the expectations that I have for our, our season, I'd love to be able to say we're going to win 31 games and, and go to the NCAA tournament and, and win a few games there. I think that's the possibility. But the expectation is, like Coach Turgeon said, just win every day, win every game, uh, especially home games, but approach every game as if we can win it. I don't know that that's been our philosophies. Uh, I don't know that that's been our culture here until this year. And although we, we as a staff prepare for every single game the same and expect to win, I don't know that our, our student athletes believe that we can win. And now this year we have that camaraderie in our locker room, we have that, that fight in our belly, and we have that, that ownership uh, mentally to be able to win every game that, that I've scheduled. Um, it's going to be tough. Uh, I've scheduled a, a really gruesome non-conference with you know, so many road games. Uh, but the games that we do play at home, we have to win. There hasn't been one team, even me here as a student athlete, that went undefeated at home. And that's a, a huge goal that's, a, that's written on the board in the locker room. That's exactly what we want out of it, is to be able to win that small. It's a small victory, but to say that we've done something that's never been done before, which is be undefeated at home, that's, that's a huge goal for us. Uh, but with all that being said, um, obviously being picked third in the Summit League, it is good. It's not outstanding. It's not great. Uh, but we know who, who has the target on the back of their, their jerseys for us. Uh, I think that's kind of uh, an unspoken thing in our locker room that we, we know who we need to beat. And we can't risk competing at, at the first and second level of our league by not competing every single day in practice. And, and we win each practice. We've lost a few out of 21 practices so far, and, and, and that's just honest. But every single day is a, is a chance to get better. It's a chance to grow. It's a chance to be better leaders. And, and I think we're making a conscious effort to do that every day. So as you can see, I, I'm pretty excited about our team. Uh, it, it's been fun to be around them and, and learn more about our, our freshmen and our new guys. But it's, it, I'm excited about the year. Um, Joe Lindsay, and, and not just Joe, but, but all five freshmen have a basketball IQ that you need to be successful at this level. Joe Lindsay doesn't make a ton of mistakes. Uh, he, he shoots the ball really well. He has this, this urge to be our best defender. And he's not by any stretch of the imagination, but he wants to be. And like you said with Jake Pemberton, I, I challenged Jake to, to be the best defender that he possibly could be our best defender on ball. And Joe Lindsay is trying his hardest to be a mix of Joe Rosga and Jake Pemberton. And he brings it every single day. And that he, he doesn't, and Coach Turgeon alluded to this with, with Claire, but he doesn't take a day off. Um, of course, he's an 18-year-old kid, and his concentration lacks at, at times. But his effort is always consistent. And that's on down the page with Taylor Gatlin, with Jace, Jace Towns, and um, Alp Kranaz, and, and David Enziquezi. The effort of our team now, it never, it never wearies. It's always at 100. Our concentration is what, where we need to get better at. Absolutely. And, and Ronnie, as of you know, the last week and a half, has 
has showed up early, shown up early for practice to shoot, has stayed late to stretch and, and take care of his body. He's a vegan, which uh, I'm not sure how that helps him as a basketball player with his strength, but he's committed to, to doing things right. He's committed to, to growing himself and, and our program. And he's, he's pretty prideful about having Denver over on, on his chest, and, and I can appreciate that. J Joe Rosk is such a good person. It, 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 it's like a perfect marriage. Um, Joe kind of indirectly said that he needed some help, and, and this is the help that, that I was able to go get him. And he has no excuse to, to, to not trust his teammates. He has no excuse not to lead his teammates because, like you said, he's been here for so long. And he has a sense of ownership in our locker room. He needs to be more vocal. But this is the help he asked for. And you look at our schedule, he asked to play top 25, top top 10 caliber programs, and, and I want to do that. So I'm following Joe's lead, and I'm going to coach him as hard as I coach the freshman. But he's he's Joe Roski. You know, Joe, Joe's always good, and he, he's good every day. Just maturity with those guys. And, and, and the biggest growth that you'll see from Jake in, in a day is maturity. They've always had the skill. They've always had the athleticism. They've always been able to shoot. They just weren't ready to make the big steps and the big shots and the big defensive possessions. I think now that they see that Ronnie and Tori's here, they have some competition. And that competition makes our team better. Um, and not not just those those two, but you look at Elvin Rodriguez, you know, he's progressing every single day. You look at Abby Akintola, you know, as a senior, Abby is much better now than when I first got the job. And he's taken on his role, and he's been great at it. So every, everybody on our team has not only got stronger, got faster, got more athletic, but basketball-wise, they're, they're better as well. So I, uh, I'm excited again about our team. You know, for, for Tory, the recruitment was easy. It was almost having the same identical conversations that uh, we had when he was a senior in Kansas uh, and, and bringing him to Colorado. It was almost identical. Now getting him into school, and you know he he suffered an injury in the in the spring. Getting him healthy, that's been the hardest part. But Tori's such an unbelievable kid with an unbelievable winning spirit. It's been it's been easy. It's been easy, and he echoes everything that we say as a staff, either on the sideline during practice, or in the locker room after practice, before and after practice. So it's it's been good. But the recruiting part of it was easy, and um, that that's just you know a testament of of his character. Absolutely, absolutely, and I like that pressure as a coach, and as a competitor, I like that pressure. But you know, that we're we're not picked first, so you know, I I like telling our team that until we are picked first, we're last, and we have to we have to win every single day, every single practice, every single drill, every single possession, for us to have the respect that we deserve. And until then, we have the arrow; we don't have the target.